Well, there's lots going on in financial reform in China at the moment. Um, the big thing is interest rate reform. Uh, pretty much all interest rates are now set by the market. The only thing that's still restricted are deposit rates, and, and the central bank has told us that over the next two years they're going to be liberalised too. So generally we're going to see much more flexible interest rates, and generally we think slightly higher interest rates as well. So anyone who's borrowing or uh, is going to have to start thinking about hedging their borrowing risks, um, and also all the savers that we have, all the households that save all their money, it's great news because interest rates are going up and they're going to get paid more for their savings and so the whole wealth management industry is going to develop very nicely. Uh, internationally obviously the room and B is going out, it's going on its travels and we see lots of uh, interesting ways in which Chinese authorities are opening up the capital account, particularly to room and B flows and that's another big priority for the central bank. They believe that the, cent the, the capital account is kind of restricting money leaving China and so in order to encourage and maybe help Chinese companies going overseas to invest, they're opening up the capital account and encouraging room, use of B to make things more um, useful for them. Uh, the same thing for our multinational clients, one of the big things we've seen in the last few, few months is it's much, now, it's much easier now to move money out of China and into China. Uh, and obviously there are still some restrictions, but the central bank really wants to make it much easier for money to flow. And hopefully that will mean that there's much more efficient investment, much more efficient cash management, which of course is, is good for everyone.